Support us by subscribing, ring the notification bell, press all, and... Problems we intend to solve with this system. The current pipe pusher is hard to unload from vehicles and difficult to maneuver on site, and the failure rate is increasing rapidly. Only can require new old stock parts due to the company stopping production on the 5th of April 1994. The old system has an issue with falling over and crushing equipment on MVAN due to the top heavy design, dumping up to 10 gallons of hydraulic fluid on tools and equipment. It is extremely time consuming to repair, forcing MAP's workload to raise. Also the degrading motor units, increasing risk of electric shock and fire due to motor winding failures. We have a current pumper unit that's been in MAP since August of 2018. They have been unable to order the needed parts due to the manufacturer not building the required parts, forcing them to wait until a new old stock part is manufactured from a reverse engineering process. As mentioned earlier, with the increasing risk of electric shock and fire due to motor winding failures, I'll speak more about the motors that are on the old units. They are Baldor two-phase motors, which were produced in June of 1977. Being that they're 43 years old, they are getting fatigued and do not reliably put out the required horsepower rating needed to maintain pressure opening the door. Also on this same system, the fittings used have been removed and replaced to the point they no longer seal correctly, leading to multiple leaks across the entire pusher set while in storage, forcing constant cleanup and refill by technicians. Our proposed new idea, this unit will improve both mission effectiveness as well as quality of life for our field runners by making opening the launcher closure much easier for our MMT teams in the field. This unit is 471 pounds lighter than our current model. The opening and inspection of the launcher closure will only require one user, leaving the other to complete different tasks, as opposed to using two that we use now. The cost of the old unit is $17,000, and our new proposed model is $5,915, cutting the price by over half. It requires less than scheduled maintenance from MAPS based on commonly broken parts on our current systems. There are commercially available parts for repair with a service center here in Great Falls that will keep parts on hand for us. To completely replace the old pusher set will cost roughly $204,000 and can only be refurbished, keeping the same motor, pump, and reservoir. With the new unit, it will cost $47,320 total and have all brand new components. The main cost difference is because teams take two pusher units to the field per job. This is because it is a faulty system and requires backup for every dispatch. The new units will easily be adapted to our double and single pusher sets in the field, therefore requiring only one per dispatch.